Hey guys, it's JD from Ponzo World, and today we're unboxing and reviewing the Smart Padlock made by E-Link Smart. Now you can find this padlock on Amazon, links will be in the description below, and apparently this is a very good Smart Padlock. Uh, obviously it does use your fingerprint to unlock it instead of like a, tr a traditional padlock with a code and stuff. This one you just place your finger on there and it unlocks, so that's very cool. Um, I guess I'll just go ahead and show you around the box first of all. So here we have Smart Padlock. Then there's this little clear window, which right there is the actual product. On the side here, 24-month uh, battery life. So that's very cool. Uh, keyless, obviously, uses your fingerprint. USB charge, status indicator, and super CPU, I guess, to process your fingerprint. Um, anyways, back here we have a label if you want to look at that. There you go. On the back here, 360 degree fingerprint recogni recognition. So it recognizes your fingerprint from all angles, supports up to 20 fingerprints and no complicated uh, connection required. And so that's really it. Um, I guess we'll go in and open it up. So pull up here. I have to get it nice in there. I can just bend the box and open it that way. All right, and let's take this out. All right, so there it is. Looks like we have some instructions. So there you go. All right, so uh, looks like we also have a charging cable, which this is micro USB, no surprise there. And then the actual padlock. Now, if this is like the other fingerprint padlock that I reviewed, um, you could place any finger on it um, right as it's out of the box. You have to program, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, so you have to program it first, no surprise there. And then it will actually only recognize the fingerprint that you put in instead of any fingerprint. It's very quiet. It's very cool. Let's pop open this USB cover here. Gosh darn it. Can't get it off. There we are. You can see micro USB port right there. So uh, I guess what I'll go ahead and do now is set this thing up and test it out. All right, so I went ahead and set it up. Um, the instructions were pretty simple. It's very easy on how to set this up. Basically, you have to unlock it, hold down your finger on it until uh, the light turns blue, I believe, or I think it's green actually, and then you have to press it a few times for it to learn your fingerprint, and then it will work. Now, one thing that I have noticed, and it's basically confirming my suspicion that these things are just not ever correct, okay? Um, not 100% at least. The other uh, fingerprint padlock that I reviewed, it's not, it wasn't very exact. Like I had to press my finger on there a few times for it to actually recognize that. And that's the case with this one too. I guess it, it's really just the way these things work. Um, now obviously if you get like a $100 one, yeah, it'd probably work every time, but this is not $100. So I've, I've kind of learned now that I guess it's really not the padlock's fault. It's just, you know, the technology that's in it. Um, it's kind of like, you know, fingerprint on an iPhone or something like that. It's not going to necessarily rec or recognize it every time. Um, now, in this case, I, it does work most of the time. See here. And you can see it just worked there. Let's try it again. It worked there. Worked there, too. Let's see then if I go down a little bit farther. It's not recognizing it now. There we are. So it does take a few tries, but comparing it to like the other padlock that I did, it, it has the same thing. Uh, so I guess that's just really how fingerprint padlocks are. Um, so if you're gonna get one of these, any probably any fingerprint padlock, don't necessarily think you're gonna get it every time, but that's even with, you know, normal padlocks. I've used a normal padlock with a little dial, you know, many times, and not every time that you like think you got it right, it's gonna be right. Sometimes you have to try, you know, a few times. So that's really the way with this, um, and this is a lot faster, obviously, than a normal padlock. It's just, you might have to try it a few times. 
So yeah, didn't recognize it there. It did there. Now, one thing that I do want to recommend so while you're setting this up is to just clean your finger uh, before you do that, just to get rid of any oils or anything like that, any dirt. Um, and I would also recommend cleaning this little pad here with like your shirt or something. And that's gonna make it even more exact and even more accurate. So uh, there you go. This thing does seem to work pretty good so far. Um, again, just like any other padlock though, you do have to try it a few times, but it is unlocking it most of the time, most of the time you can see there. Now I'm gonna put this through um, a few other tests that I did with the other padlock. One is where I pull on this and see if there's any give. And no, there's not. What about side to side? Uh, there's a little. It's not anything bad though, but you can see when it's in here, there's almost none at all. Um, now, build quality on this, it does seem pretty good. It is all metal. This is metal. This is definitely metal. You can see it's definitely very high quality. You're not going to be busting into this thing anytime soon. So very cool. Build quality definitely seems very great. Um, even the fingerprint padlock itself, um, I don't believe it's metal, but it does definitely feel like it. No, it's definitely not metal. Yeah, because this is rough. This is rough. This is smooth. Um, although it does do a very good job on blending in with the rest of the body, even though it's not the same material. There we go. So this thing does seem pretty good. And do I recommend it for the price? Yeah, this thing definitely does seem worth it. Um, it's not really much more that I could say about it. So, you know, kind of a short video, but there's not much to these. It's just, you know, a padlock that you unlock with your finger. There's not much to go over. So uh, yeah, I guess that's really it for this video. Again, if you do wanna get a fingerprint padlock, go ahead and pick one of these up. Um, there's really not any reason to, you know, to not. It definitely works pretty good when it does work, obviously, but again, you can't expect perf perfectness out of any fingerprint padlock, especially even, you know, a $30 one like this. So anyways, yeah, I guess that's really it for this video. Hope everybody enjoyed and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.